What is up, my butter biscuits? Y'all, it's been a hot minute since I've done commentary videos and I'm doing two back to back. I just felt like over the past week, there has been so much drama with brands, y'all, with Jones Road, with uh, Natasha Denona, with Juvia's Place. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I really want to talk about this stuff. I do know with the Jones Road, Bobby Brown situation, it is a little bit late as well as the Natasha Denona situation, but I really did want to talk about it. However, the past like five days in my personal life have literally just been like this. It's been really crazy. So I haven't been in the headspace to like film on top of that too i've just been going out and getting tipsy to be like oh y'all i feel like that's my escape of the drama so i really haven't been in the headspace to film however today i'm just feeling great and i really do want to talk about these topics because i just find them to be so interesting so within today's video we're going to be talking about skin glass calling out natasha denona as well as we're going to be talking about jones road which is owned by bobby brown calling out a tiktoker y'all this talker i've actually wanted to talk about before on my channel because i've seen her so much and i'm just like I don't know how to like say it because I just feel like I sound rude, but like I've looked at her videos so many times before and she's super popular. And I'm like, her style of doing things is just not my vibe. Like I just don't like it. And I'm like, it's so crazy because she's actually getting called out for this. Like I've seen her so many times literally just take foundation and just boom, put it all over her face. And her whole reasoning for this is, is because she likes to cover her freckles. And I'm like, girl, you don't need to take like a whole gallon of foundation to cover your freckles. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get into the details within today's video just in case you guys haven't seen it. But I'm just kind of like, I don't know. It's just a little bit weird to me. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like we've like moved past that kind of like clickbaity stuff. You know what I'm saying? Y'all remember like three or four years ago where people would be like holding scissors to their face and then like that's their thumbnail for a video or like globbing makeup on like she does. And I feel like she does it in every video. Anyways, y'all, we're going to talk about it within today's video. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. I will shut up and let's go ahead and get into it. To start this off, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a small portion of this TikToker's review of the Jones Road WTF foundation, y'all, because y'all need to see it before we even talk about this because this to me is just like, it's crazy. So go ahead and check it out. Um, you're probably asking me, Meredith, what is this? Well, to be honest, I'm not really sure, but we're going to find out. So Jones Road came out with this and it's called What the Foundation? I think that's a fair name. The hair's got to go up for this bad boy. I'm excited. I got two shades, light and porcelain. You know me and my hands, so let's just go right in. It smells very strong. Let's apply. I mean, I am the foundation queen, so... I'm not sure what to make of this consistency. My hands can't... Um... What's going on here? You guys, I'm really trying. It's gonna be a no for me. So as y'all can see right there, she literally just globs it on, like just so much product going on the face. That to me is just so crazy. And I've seen her do this. Like, I guess this is like her shtick. You know what I'm saying? Like, I guess this is how she gets people to like share her videos. Cause I'm sure so many people were like, oh my God, why does she put her foundation on like that? Like it, she just puts on so much. And honestly, she has such pretty skin that she doesn't need to do that. She actually made a TikTok after that and said, the reason why I put on so much foundation is because I don't like my freckles. Sometimes I want to cover them up. And I'm just like, girl, you do not need to put on that much foundation to cover them up. First of all, like I have a whole bunch of freckles and they are covered up and I don't have it globbed on like that you know what i'm saying anyways y'all so this is what some people have said right here to her video not a fair review you're not supposed to use half the container and that is so true because she said that she did not like this foundation because of what it was doing on her skin but i just want to let you guys know y'all this is the thing this is what I say about some TikTokers. I feel like they really don't do their research or even just read the product description before they do a video because they're really putting out the wrong stuff. Not every single foundation is going to cover everything. Some people want a really lightweight foundation. Some people want kind of like a tinted moisturizer. Not everybody wants extreme full coverage. Some people really do want a more natural type of coverage. So this is what it says right here. This is the What the Foundation WTF is a tinted moisture moisture uh, balm meets traditional foundation blends seamlessly into the skin leaving you with an even fresh complexion that looks like your skin on its best day. WTF includes skin nourishing ingredients like jojoba oil and sodium hyaluronate, works flawlessly with the face pencil and offers buildable light medium coverage. Choose from one of 12 shades created to blend across all skin tones. WTF is a first of its kind in innovation uh, in the clean beauty space. All 
also, this was actually posted on Jones Road before <laughs> before Bobby Brown made a video about this. It says right here on the um, uh, questions and answers section, it says, how does it differ from traditional foundation? And it says, this is the answer. This is not as high coverage as a traditional foundation. It's meant to look like skin. WTF gives light to medium coverage. A little goes a long way. However, if paired with face pencils, you get much higher coverage, which I'm sure um, the uh, face pencils are there more full coverage. So she does do another video where she tries it out. And it's kind of crazy to me, y'all, because honestly, she's like, I still don't like it. And I'm like, y'all, to me, you can definitely see that it does even out the skin tone, which I totally understand. Everybody does have a different preference. Some people may want like an extreme full coverage. I totally get that. Get that. It may not be her vibe, but it's still doing what it's saying it's doing. You know what I'm saying? So she does this video. She's like, no, I still don't like it. And then people were commenting in her comments saying, it just seems like you don't want to like it, you know? And that's kind of the vibe that I got too. So it's so funny. When I first initially saw this, I was like, she just doesn't want to like this product. You know what I'm saying? When you could just simply say like, hey, like this product is not my vibe. Vibe, but use it in the right way first and then say you know what I just feel like this is just not enough coverage for me this is not a product that I would use rather than glop it on when it's like not meant to be a full coverage foundation. You get what I'm saying? Um, so this is the video right here that um, Bobby Brown posted about this with Jones Road because I thought it was actually really funny and I do feel like in this moment, I feel like it was really needed because clearly she was like throwing big time shade. So go ahead and check this out. So I always love learning new makeup techniques and I learned one today. I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but I'm gonna try. Hmm. Hmm. Didn't really work. <laughs> All right, y'all, next up on the list, we're going to be talking about Natasha Denona and Skin Glass because a brand Skin Class is calling out Natasha Denona for coming out with a product called Skin Glass when the brand's name is actually Skin Glass. This one to me at first, when I looked at this on the surface level, I was kind of like, you know what? I feel like the brand is reaching, but then the more that I looked into it, the more I was like, okay, this does look a little bit shady. Because at first I was like, okay, Skin Glass is a very common term. You know what I'm saying? Everyone's like, oh, glass skin. I want glass skin. So Skin Glass, same type of thing. Also, just in case you guys didn't know, you guys can't really like copy, uh, copyright, what the hell? Copyright a like a common term or like a word that's used frequently. It's very difficult to do those types of things because it's common. So say for example, if I wanted to come out with a brand and call it Skeleton Cosmetics, I won't own the rights to cosmetics, but only for Skeleton because that's obviously rare. Cosmetics is a general term. It's a very common term. So it's harder to copyright that. So at first I was kind of like, wait, like I'm so confused about this because skin glass obviously is a very common term a very common wording you know what i'm saying however the more that i looked in things i was like um this does look a little bit shady y'all like down to the font of the product as well as the product being very similar in itself this is the product right here from natasha denona i'm not going to read the full description of this product because when i tell you guys it is a longer than a harry potter novel i literally mean it, it is so long but basically what this is is a hydrating primer serum so that's just what it is right here i will be reading though from skin glass beauty because i do feel like this is really important to know her side of the story because at first, like I said, like so many people were actually even commenting too, like, oh my gosh, this this is like a reach. This is a reach. And I'm like, the more that you actually look into it, it's kind of like not really a reach. You know what I'm saying? Um, so basically, this is what the brand right here, Skin Glass Beauty, has said. Sorry, this is really long, but I do feel like it is important to read this. Violating as fuck. I thought so much about how I wanted to approach this. Be coy, be politically correct, be tame, keep your cool. But you know what? No, I won't be quiet because I've spent countless fucking hours building this brand from the ground up with my own research, my own resources, my time, my heart, and my soul. This is personal. The thing that pisses me off about this is at Natasha Denona, know what skin glass is 100%. You just feel entitled to stealing it, stealing likeness, intellectual property, and the entire concept of skin glass because you feel entitled to it because your brand is quote unquote bigger and you're richer, having all the resources at your fingertips. Disrespectful and disgusting. You've got a whole research and development team and you mean to tell me y'all just scrolled past all the Google res results the, um, that brought up my brand when you type in skin glass, the web site the ig the hashtags the actual products yeah no get the fuck out of here and that fucking font too literally because when i looked at the font too i was like oh the font is pretty similar you know what i'm saying so i'm um, continuing on here 
I then remind myself, you can steal the look of it because you think it looks cool, but that's not why people buy Skin Glass. I have built this brand through real people, real people influence, not forcing people to talk and sell my shit because I want to make money, but because I actually care about people and integrity of what I'm selling. It's hard enough doing this being a woman of color. It's hard enough to gain and maintain visibility. Y'all want us to do a dance and two-step to get the attention to be in these million dollar stores and shelves, um, withhold resources and have to jump through who to be noticed by y'all and when we are uh, and when we're finally at a place you think it's a good idea to steal what i've built and overshadow my brand not today not tomorrow not ever one thing you will never ever take away from me is my credibility that to me that's what i'm saying also too the more you look into it the more you look into the actual product it's just kind of like a little bit more than the name you're like okay yes a lot of brands have this type of product like i do believe like it's kind of similar to the whole farsali line you know what i'm saying it's kind of like that little like um little dropper and you know a lot of brands have that type of product i get it but like naming it skin glass when obviously that's what skin glass is the skin glass beauty you know what i'm saying it's a little bit shady um one thing I'm going to go ahead and read from Skin Glass Beauty's um, Instagram. This is a screenshot from the stories right here because I do believe that they're going to be moving forward with like suing them. So I kind of wonder how this is going to like end up. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to go ahead and read this as the last part. So basically... Um, this person commented, and this is what I'm saying. A lot of people were saying this. This is what the person commented. To say they stole this is a reach. The ingredients and formulation are not the same. Glass skin is a concept that came from Korean skincare. Neither products are original, and there's thousands of similar ones on the market. Natasha Denona did nothing wrong, and she did was a release a trendy product. And see, that's kind of like my first initial reaction. I was like, okay, there's so many brands, and there's so many, like, different products out there that say, like, to get glass skin. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like a term in the makeup world. World. so I kind of thought the same thing too but then when you look into more like detail it's just kind of like okay also on top of that too like I really do want to focus on the brand saying you looked past all the results of Google because literally as soon as you just type in skin glass it pops up you know what I'm saying if you were to type in glass skin then I feel like things obviously will be a little bit different because that's going to show you like techniques and tutorials you know what I'm saying but skin glass obviously pops up with her brand so this is what she had to say right here this is my last time addressing this baseless argument. No one said the concept of glass skin was new or that I created it. But guess what? I did create a brand called Skin Glass. That is the name of my brand, not a description to a product, but the name to my entire brand, along with the website, IG, and packaging material. I don't give a F about the packaging type and style she used and all the technical nonsense. Natasha Denona stole my brand, Hero, I think, I don't know, Hero product and its concept and its is continuing to call it skin glass as a product name. She apologized for not doing her due diligence, which is also a lie, but whatever. That that was like super like intrigued about. Like I probably should have hit up the brand and been like, hey, do you have like a statement of that? Because I really am curious to know how Natasha Denona apologized for it. You know what I'm saying? Like I wonder... If she's kind of like, ooh, I apologize because I got caught. Or if she was apologizing because she really didn't, like, search for it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But you guys have to let me know your thoughts and opinions about that. Make sure you guys let me know about uh, the uh, TikToker. Oh, my gosh. Or I think her name's Meredith. Make sure you guys let me know about that because I'm just so curious about the whole slugging of foundation like i just feel like it's just so excessive but that's my personal opinion you know what i'm saying also make sure you guys let me know about the skin glass thing because i really am curious to know if you guys feel like it's just like a generalized term or do you guys think that natasha dona really was heavily influenced by her brand so make sure you guys let me know about that and i'll catch you guys in my next video peace out girl scout